Hello everyone. Today's video tutorial is on the Mac OS File Vault, which is disk encryption for your Mac OS device. Um, this is going to be a really short video, but really important video. You want to make sure that you do encrypt your hard drive. This makes it, if your computer's stolen, that people will not be able to read the data on your hard drive. If they take the hard drive out of your computer, they have no way to read it unless they have that password. Um, the biggest step to this is when you do set the password on it, make sure you have it stored in your password manager like LastPass or Dashlane. 1Password, or if you don't use a password manager, which everybody should be using. If you don't use one, you need to move to one, but you need to write it down somewhere that's safe. Um, so, to turn on File Vault on Mac OS, if you're on a Windows machine, they have something called BitLocker that you can uh, turn on your disk encryption through that. It only takes a few minutes. It does take a couple hours. The bigger the hard drive, the longer it takes to run. But while it's running, you can continue to use your laptop. You don't have to sit and wait on it to run. So, on your laptop, you come over to the top left and click on the little Apple logo icon. And you go to System Preferences. Now, depending on your Mac OS version, you're going to look for security and privacy. It will say that on no matter what version you are using, it will have that security and privacy icon. It's just going to be in different spots depending on the version you have. So you want to click on security and privacy. Now you'll see a couple tabs across the top here and you want to click on File Vault. I already have it turned on, so what you will see if you do not have it turned on, you'll see a screen that looks like this where you can actually click on that Turn On File Vault icon. Now, if it's grayed out and you're not able to click on it, if you come down on the bottom left here and click that little lock, you need to put in your password. And that will open up the lock. And now you'll see that I can actually turn off File Vault if I choose to, or if you haven't turned it on yet, you can also turn it on. And all you have to do is click on Turn On File Vault, or if you want to turn it off, just click on Turn Off. When you go to turn it on, it will ask you to set a password. This is the password you need to remember or write down somewhere that's safe. That's what keeps your hard drive encrypted and protected. If you lose that password, though, the only thing you can do when the time comes is just delete the hard drive. As long as you can still log into your laptop, you can use it as normal. But otherwise, you cannot access that hard drive without it. So if your computer dies and you pull the hard drive out, but you want to hopefully save the data on it, if you don't have it backed up, you should have it backed up. Um, but if you don't have it backed up, you can use that password and then you can have instant access to your hard drive. So that is File Vault. It's a really important but very quick setting that you can change on your computer. Don't forget to check out my site at adamontech.com where you can submit suggestions or follow up questions to these video tutorials. While you are there, you can read my writings that explore a number of topics in greater detail. You can also leave a comment below or hit me up on Twitter at twitter.com slash adamontech. Don't forget to hit that like button below, and while you are doing that, also take a moment to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with my latest tutorials. So until next time, this is Adam on Tech, signing off.